Welcome back. In the previous video, we have calculated alpha slope, beta slope, and A intercept and B intercept. So using this information, we are going to calculate the micro constants. So these are the micro constants which we have, K21, K10, K12. Okay, so let's calculate that. So K21 is equal to A times beta plus B times alpha divided by a plus b right so what is a a is 7.50 mg per liter okay times beta that is a 0 0.21 hour inverse plus b is 22.18 plus alpha that is 1.73 and units the same as i mentioned here our inverse in mg per liter divided by a plus b a is 7.50 plus b is 22.18 this is nothing but cpo i hope you remember that this is nothing but cpo at uh, the concentration time zero so if you solve this you'll get a value of k to 1 of 0 0.59 okay so we have 0 0.59 you okay, should mention the units it's our inverse and this is mg per liter this is our inverse and this is mg per liter this is mg per liter and this is again our inverse okay now the next calculation we need to do is k10 so what is the formula for k10 it's so k uh, k10 is alpha times beta divided by k21 so we have the information of alpha and beta from here so 1.73 times beta that is 0 0.21 divided by k21 that is 0 0.59 so if you solve this you'll get a value of 0 0.613 our inverse right it's 0 0.613 0 0.613 our inverse of the units okay right now let's calculate k12 k12 is equal to alpha plus beta minus we can say k21 plus k10 okay don't get confused we can just uh, rewrite this equation as alpha plus beta minus k21 minus k10 either way it's same right so let me the calculations alpha plus beta this alpha is 1.73 plus beta that is 0 0.21 minus k21 it is 0 0.59 minus k10 that is 0 0.613 if you solve this you will get a value of 0 0.73 our inverse okay All right the next parameter to calculate is ke okay so ke has you what is the formula for ke uh, we can either use vc So to calculate KE, we need to calculate uh, VDSS and also clearance total. So we'll come back later and we'll calculate KE uh, in a short while. Now let's calculate VC and VT and VDSS at various uh, parameters. C. VDSS absolutely we can calculate the VDSS right so let's see how it's a formula for VDSS guys so VDSS is equal to VC plus VT it's together volume distribution at steady state but we don't have the information of VT by the way so that's what we are going to calculate now so VC is 33.69 liters and the formula for VT is we can use this formula it's VC times K12 is equal to VT times K21. So we know VC, we know K12, we know K21. Let's calculate VT then. VT is equal to K12 times VC divided by K21. All right, let's calculate this. So what is K12? 
zero point seven three times VC is thirty three point six nine liters. Okay, this is our inverse. And what is K two one? That's zero point five nine our inverse. So let's cancel the units. Here our inverse, our inverse cancelled, and we are left with liters. Obviously, volume distribution is measured in the liters for the tissue compartment, right? So VT is 41.62 liters. So let's write that 41.62 liters. Okay. So now, now that we have VT and VC, can we calculate VDSS? Yes, we can calculate it. So let's calculate that. VDSS is equal to VC, that's 33.69 plus 41.62. Okay is equal to how much is that 75.32 liters okay okay so we have VDSS we have VC we have VT and all the information